Question. Let me know when you're. The system has been updated. Yeah. And that would be the remediation. I made that's that's yeah. We identify. Okay. So we're good to go. Sounds good. If we do have some individuals here, um, work session. This is a standard work session. They have five to get the
सब कुछ Right. 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 Right.
A little bit that I Just a different point. The ones that are flattered. Yeah. 
body. The tower class together. So they just developed a product. Yeah. It goes beyond the illusion to the fact terminates with the of the view of the great self of the cabin. Pretty easy to Here's the challenge of classical their historic development. So that's the first thing that I can say. That they, they have a preference of talent, but that they might go into the work of the field. I don't know if that's really I mean, I think that the best known is on here is some sociologist that is that I like to say is the dead long before they get out of the circle. Well, I guess.
So, uh, with that said, it is six o'clock. Our regular twenty fourth meeting from Monday, July twenty second. All right, like a week. Is <laughs> Yes. Rick Perry. Yes. Abby Nisserher. Yes. From Castro. Yes. From the series. Yes. Yeah. So we do have uh, the one application on the agenda tonight for the plant order application of 24 back in year old. Dollar General. That's Abby. Thank you.
The, the, the site plan shows a uh, entirely lot of the corner of the narrower parcel further to the south of York. <coughs> Is that to indicate that the, the, the parcel of which you're purchasing? Does it include that narrow? And this is the new property line? Yeah. Yeah, well, because it's on tape. Yeah, I mean, uh, that, that narrow sliver of land is part of the. I, I don't know how we can not include the town of Plattsburgh in. Is part of this discussion because that one is in the town. But it's still part of the same parcel that splits jurisdictions the town and the city. They are not. There's okay. Because they can't do it. They have two separate tax numbers. One happens to be in the town, one in the city, but there's a, they're identifying this as a single parcel by that line of drive. My point question is is this one parcel or is it two parcels? Okay. And we didn't we actually put would you please can, can you show me Yeah. Okay, but they, this, this was my question. This is the one that was identified. Okay. As long as in our location that we have to make it certain we are not. We, we are not giving the determination that it's in the town of Plattsburgh. We're, we're only responsible for the property line as, you know, it's on the corporation between the town and so we're not doing anything regarding the neighbor and the property. So it's a lot of that helps somewhat. That was divided out in 2003 by the new equation. So I think there may have been one that was carrying out sort of small matter. Yeah, for your summary before we, before we ask the applicant. There. I'm sorry, I just had a quick Thank you.
ECW has requested that the applicant provide well better service run by Pfizer. One of the two are connections is clearly in the organization of for run on to week nine. Municipal lighting district requests load calculations. Uh, right of way and location for Building inspector's office property for parking spaces and otherwise is satisfied with the proposal. Town of Casper requests that either a swift or silk fence is required um, and that your more control be put in place and recommended that the planning board may not consider the They provided with what a, a similar review that they had recently completed um, what the initial proposal was, but the amended proposal after um, their, the planning board consultation with Pakistan, they had and then what the final result, the result was. Um, the town of Pakistan also recommends the additional 
environmental services had no concerns and there were other, no other department constituencies. For our planning staff review, um, the recommendation from planning staff is that the applicant, that the board requires the applicant to satisfy department uh, review comments that we've just covered. Um, there are a, a few items that have not made it fully into the legend, so we um, recommend that the board request that the symbology be updated and confirmed. Um, that the applicant completes the zoning table for the proposed um, adherence to the zoning requirements. Um, so, and then depict driveway setbacks. Um, this is a carryover, the swift recommendation or so hence is a carryover um, after. Uh, request uh, recommended stormwater management controls to depict sewer line flow direction, depict construction and staging area. Um, that will both confirm the total area of impact. Uh, no applicable revegetation. Clearly, this is per top width. Um, again, DO2 coordination is recommended. Recommend aesthetic improvements as the board sees fit. Um, we did not receive a lighting plan, so it's recommended to request a, a lighting plan be submitted, um, as well as an interior layout, a floor plan of the proposal, um, a better depiction of waste storage and any associated screening. So um, there were no um, depictions for where receptacles would, would be placed on the property and um, And then um, depiction, it was recommended that um, the board request the applicant to depict where the delivery location and um, access for delivery of vehicles would be for loading and unloading. And um, to um, be in concert with the complete street level to, it's recommended um, that there be a depiction of pedestrian and, and or bicycle access to the right of way. Okay, thank you. The last piece, the complete streets, uh, pedestrian access, uh, is there a plan that you can get to easily that shows, is there a sidewalk that's going to be included with this? I mean, yeah, there's a yeah. sidewalk in front. Okay. Between the two uh, handicapped parking spots. Or are you talking? Talking about to the uh, road. To, yeah, to it looks there. like it's right here in concrete side. Yeah. No? Okay. Yeah, at least on the one I'm looking at, it's a concrete sidewalk. But that's not, ex is that existing? Not even parallel to Nina? Yeah, yeah, parallel to Nina. I thought that sidewalk is on the east side of nine there and that there isn't anything on the west side existing. So that would be added. There's an existing sidewalk. It's, it kind of, the hatch doesn't stand out very well, okay. but it's right along here. It is. All right, thank you. But I do think there's a little bit of the air down the hole. Yeah, yeah, I see it. Thank you. Thank you. So we do have um, the applicant here along with engineering representative. Uh, we do have an opportunity to make a presentation, if you'd like. <laughs> um, so I think at this point, um, what we're trying to do is uh, build a new building for 10,640 square feet. Um, and what I'm understanding is the two major issues are DOT and stormwater. Um, you know, so what if you've got the erosion control plan available? So the silt range represents the area of disturbance, and that is the 0 0.93 acres. So as we, as you mentioned, it 
basically means that we, per deal or a New York State Department of Our Environmental Conservation, we do not need to do a stormwater pollution prevention plan. Um, obviously, it's within your right to uh, ask for some more information, and we can do that for you if you want. Some communities have a written rate in there. Um, laws that if you're going to increase in previous area, then you need to match existing. We didn't see that in the city zone, so that's why we didn't do it in this case. But we can obviously it's something you can look at. The other thing we can do is we could add, you know, keep everything from running towards Route Nine. The soil is fairly uh, vertical, so there's quite a bit of uh, ability for uh, percolation to happen in the runoff in that area. We would have some soil uh, data on that. But we could change the grades a little bit and essentially capture it in the next fall, put a couple of catch basins in, and run it over this storm man like, which then we can just cross the road into that pitch that was uh, discovered or discussed earlier. Um, so that is an option. I'm sure, I was going to the full you know, pond, which I personally don't like the ponds if we can avoid them or stormwater uh, detention chambers that are below grade. And there's obviously just a lot of added cost and maintenance that goes with this. My experience is later in, and uh, I've put a lot of them in over the years and I haven't seen many of them be maintained. So, so those are the two main issues we have as far as the elevation, what the building looks like. You know, if we could get some ideas on what the board would like to see, instead of us just throwing darts at it, so you know, at least what materials you'd like or to obviously there's been a number of different options you can do for elevation views. If we have an idea of what your cohesive plan is for that. Mm -hmm. Something we definitely look at. The other issue was obviously that uh, property line issue with the neighboring house. That's going to be addressed between the neighbor and uh, them about transferring some land so that we don't have, so that they don't own half their house. I think that's a mobile home. It says it's kind of on the property yeah. line there. Yeah, it's kind of a line runs right through it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so that'll be addressed. Yes, at this point, really any questions? The two panels of screening, we really are taking out any uh, trees except for just a little bit of rut on this corner. So everything that's there is staying except for just a small slot right here. There's still a lot of vegetation this way. So that existing vegetation in general. So I, I mean, I think you hit on two of the major items in terms of the stormwater running from DOT. I do now that I see this a little more. I looked at the survey. I do see that your your drive technically goes over the city bounds if you you know if you carry the property line straight through to the east. Right. So the property line never at the DOT right. Okay. Correct. And outside the city, like you Correct. actually stretch out. So I do think that some some coordination with our planning staff to confirm DOT's mm -hmm. desire to review jurisdictions yes. makes sense. And we have sent some preliminary drawings to DOT already. Uh, we just don't have really any comments back yet. Mm -hmm. So we're waiting on them. Okay. Um, in addition, uh, while we're on the driveway, um, when we're talking about complete streets and making, you know, putting it here so it can be with accessible to people, the sidewalk goes right into the driveway. Is there an option to have the sidewalk not have people have to walk up the driving lane? Uh, yes. Yes, we could look at that sidewalk. Yes. At some point, you're going to have to walk up. Us, yeah. yeah um but just like i just you know i drive down that road a lot and like i feel like people will kind of whip in and whip out a little bit so i think having some designated walking area would make it more in alignment with the complete streets 
there is discussion within our zoning ordinance as well of actually connecting street to building. Mm -hmm. However, that's you know proposed and accomplished. Mm -hmm. So, good suggestion. Where is the uh, trash proposed to go right now? And I know there was mention of screening for it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, up, up in that <laughs> concrete pad that. there. So that's the drop off location. Okay. In the building, and then the upstairs location. So I don't know that. I looked too. I didn't. That's one thing I didn't see detail on the plan per se. If that's no, there is a, if that's something you can add, yes. And the whole back half of the property is just going to stay as is, just open. It's kind of like open grassy area. The water and sewer uh, sizing. So this is just a one inch water service um, that no didn't make it on the pro the water line profile. But the sewer is just a four inch. It's just two bathrooms. You know, there's really no, there's no food prep in a dollar general. It's just two bathrooms and a mop sink. So it's, there's not, you know, much less use than a single family house would be. As far as the water and sewer goes, um, typically, unless there's something, some type of question about the municipal facility, you know, that's just a coordination with our Department of Public Works. Yep. Make sure you have the right detail on there. Yeah, and we'll get those added. Right. That, that should resolve any questions here. Well, it's not, I don't think it's just City of Plattsburgh Water and Sewer Department because the stormwater lines that come over the corporation line, the town, the town must have, I mean, I don't see any any right of way for the stormwater lines. The storm comes here. That goes right from the town, right? yeah, here. but look at it before there, before there crosses, keep going up, it about crosses, that. nope, you got a line that goes to the left there. Yeah, that one. Right there, the, one. nope, the one next line. Oh, 30 sorry. degrees, uh, 15 that degrees. One. Yeah. Is that a town of Plattsburgh stormwater line? So it's a 36 inch, mm -hmm. 30 inch. Reinforced yeah. It's tying into the system, but the system's in the city. So as we start making decisions about the site plan, we have other entities that have interest. And I would say that if they have a right of way that goes through there for that storm line, then they should we should be asking them if they have concerns. So the only thing I would say is I don't believe there's a right away being called out in deed. Okay. So I don't believe there's a formal right away. But okay. Just confirm. And how does that work? Uh, you know, <laughs> they don't I, have right back to the days, they used to just roll horse straight. There's a lot of these guys. Yeah. yeah, it's just like, oh, storm to a all over there. To, to Rick's point, I think those are some of the things to work on the final design, starting with our city DPW, and then if the town, I mean, the town didn't offer comment in their initial review in that regard, but, you know, confirming that, and then, quite frankly, the drain manhole for the storm along Route 9 that goes to the south, you know, that drain manhole's over would, would be technically out of the city and DOD's right away, so if you were right. If you don't know that, just, you know, that, that would right. So that's an existing thing. Mm -hmm. Just something to, yeah. to coordinate between three entities. Is there a, 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 like a business sign proposed anywhere? Um, it's um that one has it. Oh, right there. Yep. So we anticipated there'd be a separate sign for permit 
for that. Most places I do have a service on for that process. But we are showing that that is the footprint of the sign, the location for it. Going back to the building inspector's comment, re requiring screening, not, I don't think it was a request. I think it's a I think all he said was try Let's well, take a look at it, but I think if you have more not to remove parking, any more vegetation. If you have 10 there. parking spaces, you have to, you're required to have screening. So this is your tree line. Okay. And that's, and that's all should be thick vegetation. Okay. And then on the back. Was so there one of them you were? Side. So was your statement that you're going to we're only taking just a small clearing that we're doing. It's just a small red brush that's here. This is way in the corner of that. Okay. But you still have all of this vegetation blocking what we come to ourselves. Okay. So I think he would feel you not is just calm. to take the minimum amount that we can take. Okay. He didn't say to add additional vegetation. Could we get clarification from Joe as to whether he's requiring um, screening of that parking area? Uh, what do you think about um, in the planning comments in number nine, it says to uh, provide a, a flat or the vegetative plan to how it will be revegetated. So maybe if that goes in the um, the note, I guess, in the resolution could just be alongside. That's... It just says he's the building inspector comment says one note we would like to add, however, is that vegetation on the north and possibly west side of the property be maintained to screen the parking areas for adjacent residential lots. This would be maintained. So by not taking oh, all the vegetation, right. you think you met the spirit of what he's saying? Yeah, it's just, just asked hey, for just clarification, it. please. Uh, I would expect that's as much clarity as I will get. Oh, <laughs> okay. Um, I I can try to get more of the clarification. Um, and what we could do as well is um run the run the updated and by them and say ask them that would be adequate enough. I mean, if you're looking for it to be revegetated in that area, would it be possible to revegetate in the area where those trees are being cut? Is that just to get the site prepped for the parking lot, or is it? You should be also want to keep the vegetation away and the asphalt. Sure, you can yeah. screen in multiple different ways. Sir. The requirement of the code is that if you have a parking area and you're creating a large parking area that has 10 or more spaces, mm -hmm. you're required to screen it. And then, and then, so, so you want my curiosity is, does this meet mm -hmm. the yeah. building inspector's interpretation of parking lot screening? It's, it does, it, does. There's another, I, I think it's relevant because there's another house right there across from the Nevada Oval, is that right? There right is a complex. The yeah, there's oh, some there, but. Right there, right there, yeah, that's the. So right underneath those, that's another no. residential building, or am I? No. That's a. Uh, what is that building now? Pump station. Uh, pump station. Okay. So it, and that little bump out is a city-owned park station. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So part of that is, you know, when people are coming in and out in at night, especially during the winter, mm -hmm. you have headlights that. Yeah reflect into people's homes mm -hmm. you know that's why we try to buffer some of that um if it helps we could just put a fence along that right side and uh, that would help just <laughs> just to lock so the uh home doesn't get lights in, in their windows yeah that's so, what that would be that's what you, uh one of the dollar generals did out on the turnpike yeah if you guys want a fence we could do uh either wood or, or white vinyl or something like that that would be insane. I think that would be appropriate. Yeah, thing. No problem. 
We did re request a floor plan. Right? Mm -hmm. We got the invitation on the floor plan right now. Yep, we'll us. get you a floor plan. So we, within, that, within that screen plan, did you provide that landscape plan? We did not provide it. Okay. I mean, within our standards, it generally indicates about screening and matching in with the neighborhood. You know, if whatever fencing you're proposing is sort of blended with an overall landscape plan, addresses up streetscape, that probably go a long way. Okay. And sorry, I think going back a little bit, but with the sidewalk, it also might be beneficial to have some sort of bike racks as well, because you are so close to the bike path or you already have on there. Yeah, we blow over the bike rack. You saw that in the comments. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, it facilitate business, you know? Yeah, yeah. 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 Usually, put them in all of them, but we do. Yeah, we have a public bike path right along, well, the Gordon Path plus adjacent to Route 9, US yeah. Avenue. We have a nice. Oh, yeah, there is that the, little double. But you know there. what's interesting about that? I don't think there's a location where we have a crosswalk that crosses that area. No. I think the next one is the roundabout. Yeah, it is up farther. Not that we're asking. <laughs> <laughs> but it's it should be worthy of future consideration if we're doing anything up there. Within the site plan review, we do have a sign, a separate sign from it, but within the site plan review, there is uh call out for location dimensions and details of all signs. For a lead, we provided the sign. Yeah, that's yeah, so whatever you're that was early on. Don't think I did not see it in the application. We'll try to yeah. so no. I was gonna say so if you can incorporate yep. that in your details, just no like the dumpster enclosure. I think go back to one of my original questions on the seeker, why why this is determined to be a short form. Um it, just for the protection of the, the purchaser of the property, it, you know, the history of the site would certainly be beneficial for some type of more extensive review. Um we don't know the status since it was the tank farm. Well. I may be the oldest one here, no. but, but um, that that was the use of the site. There was remediation. To what extent or degree, I can't tell you. And to what conclusion? Right. So it would be, I think we would be doing justice to the purchasers and developers of the property that we at least have some kind of knowledge of how that site was remediated. So um, I think the only, maybe yeah, I don't know we have a, a pretty first. extensive phase one and I believe phase two. That, we do? Yeah, it, it was the first thing I did for like a month when we first looked at the okay. property because, because of what it was there. So we, we have, I can provide you guys a lot of information to be like, um, so that's very long. That's what I was thinking is, I, I don't know that we deviate from the short form seeing that's, no, that's where your project falls. Not that the board can't make it, but, <laughs> but um, if we could get, you know, results in a phase one, Absolutely. that led to a phase two. Uh, uh, there was, I believe, I have to go back and check. There was a phase two a while ago, and then we did a phase one that confirmed the results of, of the previous work. I think that'll help. And then also, uh, there's typically like the page four autofill of the yeah. short form that I see is not attached to our. If we can get that. Yeah. Um, that would be Thank you. Anybody else have any other comments? I think the elevation looks perfectly fine considering the type of building it is. I the only question would be is it, is there a different style that would fit better with the town? I think that was our only last yeah. comment or right. question to review that I 
So that's yeah, great. I mean, I have no problem with this, but if yeah. if um, there's a different style preferred by the town to conform with their, their yeah ideas, so I guess that would be if the keyboard is cooperating. Is there any way to look up the other pictures? Oh, Okay. Just make sure you're able to look at anything else after that. <laughs> real, real quick, real quick. Not another keyboard in this building. Alicia, before we, before we switch, can you just confirm the finishes that you're proposing? Yes. Oh, there. There, uh, yeah, what are I those? Yeah, I can give you that. So, okay. um, obviously, you can see the three sides are metal, uh, metal siding, um, standard metal siding. Um, I actually don't like that color, so I'm probably gonna. I, I might propose a different color for the metal siding. I prefer like a darker, like that yellow. Yeah, I don't like the yellow. Me either. <laughs> um, so I will read it. I'll submit that with something different. But um, the uh, the lower probably half of the building is brick. Um, and then above that is an ethos, uh, with gooseneck lights, and those are uh, those are not full windows. They don't go through the building. They are applied to the outside of the building. They're they're real windows, but they don't go through because there's shelves behind there. And they we found that there could be leaks in there and no one will ever know. So they apply them to the outside of the building. Um, that's primarily what we're what we're looking at for that. Okay. And the the awnings are those uh, like a metal? They're a metal awning. They're a metal awning. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, do you have yeah, I would like to see a picture of like ones that look similar to this. Like, have you built ones that look? I, I, we have uh, probably uh, a few months ago. I can su submit a picture. Um, I don't have it with me. But, no, no, yeah. no, that's fine. I'm just yeah, we can, more curious. And we've done other styles as well. So if you're really interested in another style, we can we can work on that. And as long as we know what you're, what do you yeah. like? I personally agree. Uh, I think it's appropriate given that uh, the former Air Force Base is still on the National Historic Registry. Mm -hmm. the, in the view shadow of Plattsburgh Bay is still on the National Historic Registry in the islands. So having that consistency with, you know, the historic settings mm -hmm. that you're substantially contiguous to mm -hmm. really makes sense. Yeah, the red brick I think is appropriate. Yeah. And uh, I can't remember it's on those, but we will likely continue the brick on, even on the metal sides. Just because people hit on them, the metal dents, and it's just easier to put brick out and just, you know, three sides of brick. Oh, yeah, especially on that parking lot side. The parking too. lot, too, uh, people run cart, shopping carts into, into it. And yeah, are their carts stored outside or are they inside? So the carts are stored inside, uh, <clears throat> right in the front. Um, they're supposed to collect them every day. You know, I mean, if they do every single day, but they, they are. So in that picture, they're outside. They're generally inside in yeah. the uh, in the ones that we've built. Um, okay. That one probably doesn't have uh, the entry, uh, the larger entry area. This is a bigger store than the previous ones that they used to do. Um, and then we talked a little bit about the dumpster enclosure. Uh, we'll put that on there. We generally do the vinyl. If you guys want something different, the vinyl chain link. If you want something different, let us know. Um, you know, we've done. Other enclosures. I think coordinating it with the other screening was nice. You know, like, like, so whatever we do on the fence. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Like, so you we could do a white, we could do a vinyl and do a white vinyl fence and a white vinyl fence enclosure. We've done that before, or or wood, whatever you guys prefer. Uh, wood. Wood. All right. Hmm? Looking so, at the the floor is plan, it, is there? Warehousing on the interior of these buildings. There's about, I think it's about 1,200 square feet of storage in the back. Okay. So uh, there was a question on where do we, uh, where do they offload or or load into the building, and it's essentially that that dumpster pad. The left side is the dumpster. The right side is where the the truck unloads, and it goes right in there. It's flush. So it's not a, you know, it's not a raised. Uh, Area, so right here is right. Now. Yeah, so they 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 offload right there and just roll it right into the into the building. Okay, and that would be where the the storage is in the back. Sir, turning movement plan in this. Sorry, oh, it's fine, but that's all the same. Apartments with dollar generous requirements to their trucks. WB sixty seven, and and it works with pretty much all fire uh, fire trucks. If you can. 
just put it on one of your plans and then we have it on record. sent over you got links to a couple images i don't know if you have the katieville one as well no um, i just have the recent okay i believe the i believe the katieville one is the similar sort of this is the pitch roof false okay. yeah yeah I, I think to rick's point i think this actually is more appropriate here yeah. especially yeah with all the red brick yep Yeah, I was trying to look at the other one. I I tend to agree with Rick as well, and and I think I agree with you as well, Abby, that this elevation is more appropriate for this area. Mm -hmm. That is a, that's a feeling to me. Eighty Bill one is similar to that from yeah. Google Maps. So. I think I think that's like a this is like a shorter front building, and that one's like a wider so. Okay, so no change on the Seeing they can't replicate Claire and Carl's. If that would... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's a lot. Yeah. Except for, except for uh, so maybe you come with a more appropriate metal siding. Yes, I, yeah, I'll take care of metal siding. <laughs> yeah. I, our architect did it and then I sent it in. And I, yeah. It always drives me nuts. He always does that. I don't know why. <laughs> Oh, I do appreciate you guys giving guidance though. Most towns and cities do not give any guidance and they're like, just change it. <laughs> okay, so what? So I do appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. I think uh, we generally, again, have to make a determination that we agree with the, the, the seeker. Um, initial determination of seeker is the what action. Again, we will do the full review of Seeker next month uh, once we have all you know, final details and additional supporting information for the going. Yeah. Um, we have public comments. Public comment will be next, oh. next month. Oh, no public comment. No, no we do not have a public hearing. We'll sketch plan. Okay. Sketch plan. Okay. Can I ask you a question? I don't know if anybody did the math on this. I haven't yet. Um, 0.93 acres is the disturbance area right now. How much is 0.07 acres in square feet? <laughs> Tiffany should ask this silly question, but. Right. Say again? Yeah, that's not great because it would be 70% of. 70%, 40,000. Yeah, okay. 3,050 3, square feet. Okay. okay. Yeah. So is the board, the planning department, have any concerns with that uh, leeway? I guess. I think, so. I, th I think personally, the applicant is going to be jumping through a bunch of different departments or reviews or quotes, and as well as DOT. Yeah. So they'll come back with support, further supporting information that yeah. either really supports that or. 
does. Yeah, and I'm sure that there's also a uh, uh, health incentive to stay under that line too. So okay. Well, there is an incentive to stay under the line. Right. But, um, as we discussed, we will look at putting that stormwater into catch basins. Yeah. Mm -hmm. to make sure it's in the and not yeah. just free flowing into the tree. Mm -hmm. that, I think the biggest thing that, that we've seen in past reviews is that there's some level of control, you yes. know, that's that's definable, which I don't think we can define that no. today based on the information. Um, I have a curiosity question, and I hadn't seen the term before. Um, where that stormwater line goes under U.S. Avenue Route 9, it, it I, it's identified as a three by three box culvert. Is that does that mean it's a concrete culvert? That's yeah, yeah. it's fair concrete culvert. But quite a few goes in here. Yeah, I, I just hadn't seen that on the plan. So thank you. Uh, the the only last thing I'd want to point out to the board now and the applicant is in past applications we have had third party review design review where where we haven't gotten supporting design information from uh, you know from city staff or departments or DOT or you know DEC uh, with SWIFT plan so that is a component if we get to where we don't have technical concurrence from other departments that the board has gone out for third party third party review which is something coordinated with planning staff applicant well i only reason i point that out is ultimately timing that's one thing we discussed with you is timing and how this all fits so, i don't know if you wait on that until after you get more answers or you want the or to throw the caveat as a condition that if we need it. If, uh, if the board determines you need third party, then you can obviously you know, find with us. Okay. I don't know how we I don't know how we put that into this resolution. And again, this is so that we save you from coming to another board meeting right. a month from now right. to hear the board say, oh, we don't, we can't answer that. Uh, so we would have to, we would want to coordinate with their party to do a support meeting. Is I guess the I guess the idea is with the, the clarity of what the third party review is for the board. You know, okay. if if this ends up going to DOT and they're doing review on the drive, well, I don't see that there's a necessity for a third party review. If we get answers from the Department of Public Works on water sewer connections all that same thing um if dot does doesn't take uh jurisdiction on the pedestrian connectivity we still use dot or the city prescribes the dot standards for pedestrian access so that's a little more straightforward um i do want to remind the board that this will be referred to the county um, it hasn't yet, but it will be referred directly after this meeting. There just wasn't time to make the county planning board meeting that had a help us with the planning for the receipt of the submission. I guess in, in, in my mind, now, now that I think about it, the last time we again had third party review where we didn't have DC standards was where the applicant wasn't controlling things on site and was proposing to connect or to drain to city facilities. So I guess that does sort of fall within some of what you're going to propose. If you're going to propose controlling stormwater on site, it's you know not going to increase stormwater runoff to city facilities. Well, then that may be a different scenario than if you're planning to cheat drain and just go to the existing drains. Then, then we've had third party review. So you're leaning against your 
uh, uh, again, unless this board identifies reasoning for it or, or we don't have enough answers. In my, my office, Sergeant Generals, the, the multiple jurisdictions that we have, you know, with power, with stormwater, with sanitary systems, with DOT, everybody here, this lot seems to merge a lot of different utilities and different agencies that yeah, I'm not even certain, you know, the type of review that would be most appropriate. I mean, I, I would feel more comfortable with, you know, independent review and then um, rather than having third party reviewer, let, let each of the jurisdictions have their their authority and most, many of them have already looked at it but so, so again again you know the applicant's going to coordinate with dot city dpw yeah. city electric the town whatever agencies or whatever departments they feel are appropriate within those coordinations that's uh, i feel comfortable that that should allow the applicant to provide the technical information for the planning board. The only caveat I put on that is again, if this was deemed a city storm sewer and you were choosing to increase flow to that or make connection to that storm sewer in the past, that's one thing that DPW has said, we don't review that, we don't review it technically, and and the board had to reply at, or rely on third party reviews. Got it. That component that's that's the only thing i can see if, if applicant can make it through all the hoops with the other yeah. hoops well it sounds like that's maybe on the line because that's where they're planning to connect okay. so that's that'd yeah. be the question Just, i guess a yeah. heads up for the applicant more than anything at that point to expect potential for that depending on in what all the coordination in my yeah, mind, that's yes. something we do. That's something we can clearly add is that like, yeah. if there is a stormwater component or stormwater design to utilize city storm facilities, mm -hmm. third party review would be required. Yeah. Yeah. So when we when we update the drawings and get that worked out, then we could bring a they'll just go right to them. So we're cool. not you know waiting a month for them to submit anything critically. Correct. <laughs> That sound and I reasonable. would include I would include the town because the you know this stormwater line runs right underneath the new driveway. I'm not leaving off their stormwater. No, the they're, stormwater they're it, it, it's okay. a component of the system. The stormwater okay. line comes from the town of Plattsburgh, and just because there's a corporation line doesn't mean that it now becomes the city concern. They no, have it to I the point of deposit. The only okay. thing I can get from them is I get what capacity breaks. If, oh, if they're not, then I'm not playing any of theirs. They're just playing bars. So far, I'm not the property. Yeah. So. I, they still have a jurisdiction because their utility lines fall through your property. They have the right to maintain that stuff. Oh. If... Yeah, if, if you cause disruption to that stormwater line, right. they're going to need to fix it yeah, or require you to they, fix it. We may have to give them a, a, uh, easement because they don't have, they don't have one. But exactly. So, right. so in that communication, it might be appropriate to address that concern before it becomes a legal issue. I guess that's, that's my point. Okay. There's no more comment from the board. Questions, and we do have a uh, draft resolution. It's been prepared. That draft resolution addresses both the. Uh, 
Well, ultimately, the determination uh, for seeker status was outlined in the resolution outlined in staff comments. We have a number of additional staff comments that are offered in the, you know, for the sketch review. In addition, we've added in our discussion a couple of extra comments that I think maybe make sense for us to try to solidify so that someone can adopt the you know adopt the resolution so within my uh outline i have uh and some of this may overlap a little bit but uh swift disturbance limits uh the new york state dot stormwater review or new york state dot commercial driveway access review along with uh Third party review if the applicant decides to utilize uh, city storm sewer or town storm sewer infrastructure uh, that this board would need third party review. That's an addition. That's an additional That's an comment. Additional. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Um, a landscaping plan which incorporates uh, screening of the residential areas for parking. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. However, that ends up being with fencing and landscaping. And refuse. Yep. Uh, yep. Refuse, uh, dumpster screening, and detail for, uh, for screening. Uh, pedestrian connectivity to the road, site, and building. I believe the board agrees generally with the elevation as presented, the building elevation as presented. Mm -hmm. uh, with a alternative color for the metal siding, which is more cohesive. Mm -hmm. um, and then for the uh, seeker uh, review, we've requested uh, the, the phase one with an outline of results of an old phase two be provided for the site, uh, give you outlining environmental conditions. And then we also would like to see the page four of the uh, DEC autofill, which autofills some of the questions and give you some background in the secret form. Those are the items that I had. Did any other board members have any items? I don't know if this needs to be written down or just added to the, the elevation part, but the pictures as well of some of the... Yeah, I'll provide pictures of uh, previous similar style. Yeah. For the for the presentation for the final. Yeah, yeah. And just yeah. kind of like what it would look like in real life. Okay. Yeah. Good. Okay. If no one has anything else to add, uh, do we have a motion to accept the sketch resolution with the findings of staff and the addition of the items I just outlined? Did you see the lighting plan? Yeah, it's on there. Do you want something with the loading and unloading of the? I will uh, okay with it. They explained it. Yes. Or unless they can go Turning, the, to add that, just add it to the plan. Oh, sure, have it yeah. In the record. Yeah, add truck, plan truck turning. Okay, uh, great. Ladies. Thank you. What about what is the final for the siding? You want to add a note on that? Are you talking siding or you were talking the fence screen the dumpster screen? Not the okay. not the uh flat, were you? No, I was talking about the fence and the dumpster enclosure to be coordinated. Or just coordinated with the each other, not yes. necessarily the building. Sure. Yeah, okay. That's one other item as well is the uh sign detail and style, the project sign detail and style. And that should also that should also include uh, building signage also. Any other items at the board or staff? What was the first issue Rick brought up about that parcel? 
Is that not the name of the iron? Oh, that, that's being the his concern about the historic use of the property, but they said they have the environmental okay. forms yeah. that they'll provide from the prior remediation. Okay. So again, I think we have our comments from staff. We've added our a comments. Do we have a motion for the draft sketch resolution? And I'll make the motion to uh, a draft, <laughs> adopt the draft resolution uh, 24 08, uh, pending all the comments Jim mentioned made by the board, as well as uh, addressing of all the planning staff comments as outlined in uh, our staff report. Do I have a second? I'll second. Roll call. Jim Abdallah? Yes. Rick Perry? Yes. Abby Musiher? Yes. Tom Costco? Yes. Carly Leary? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. you. Thanks. I guess I didn't know what my options were. We'll, we'll, <laughs> so, like back letters, the yellow letters, they usually like to just put box sign up. Like, you mean on the building or on the building and on that sign? I want whatever I looks classier. Yeah, okay, yeah, we wanted to look at as historical as possible. Yeah, we'll, we'll try to offer, yeah. we'll try to offer comments from staff. Just, just let you know. You can, you can Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Herman. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so, so to to that point, yeah, we we can. You know, those are individual letters right. yeah. on the building. Yeah. <laughs> if you look at Dollar General's. Most of them are a box that right. that's like a street. Do they have to be yellow? Yes. Yes. Okay. That's corporate. But I think that the yeah. you, you have options on this you know, individual okay. letters yeah. like that. Yes. More so than that, I do think a sign that is the uh like has a brick pedestal or so base kind of that looks more like a historic sign. So he, he offered yeah, he did. Yes. a Oh, okay. uh, brick base. A base, base right. sign, you know, instead of on a, a pole. Line line. And, Shouting up to the freeway. I think I think a lower level sign that is. Well, considering there's residential around there, I mean, you don't want a big sign glowing. Yeah. Oh, and it does. My friend lived in a place and then they built a Dollar General next to it out on the turnpike and it yeah. glows and the lights, like you were saying, they did put up a fence there, which happened, but. So I guess board wise, you like the individual letters on the building and you would like a monument sign. Individual Mon letters, I don't know if I was talking to you know, but yeah, I do. That those that box thing, and then it kind of the lights aren't even and then it looks really bad. Okay. You gotta drive around like it's some of the dollars. I, know. I, I try not to look at them, but <laughs> so so Alicia, if you can uh Coordinate with let them, let them know uh, that we uh, like council? individual letters and a Pencil. monument. You know what it wasn't showing elevation is those yellow bollards. Can they paint them not yellow? <laughs> <laughs> I hate the yellow bollards. That always, I mean, I just said so it's visible. Yeah. I mean, right. It's probably not safe to change. It's probably safety, it's but... probably safety and it's also dollar generally yellow. But but you know what I'm saying? That's something to no, that really yeah. stands out. It's yeah. always an option. Like, Okay, so that this is not going to be a condition because right, you've already asked us yesterday, but we, we can share. We'd be happy to communicate. Sure. The gracious request. They've been very open to our request. Brown, brown bollards, not yellow. Okay. Well, they can tell us. Uh, yeah. So, any other? Uh, this I mean, those aren't the existing yeah. building. Yeah. This has three belt bollards. Well, there you go. Oh, right. so gray, gray or brown bollards. And let's see. Non yellow. 
Those weren't. See, they don't they show them, but I knew that there, there was something tacky missing and it was like balls that were covered across the line. <laughs> Safety is not tacky. It's not. Well, yeah, cars don't need to be shown their balls. They shouldn't be to begin with. They just don't sit in their head. That's fine. Yes. So, do we have any other items to review? No um, other items to review for the agenda. On the agenda, my husband was really disappointed he couldn't watch the live stream of this discussion. He texted me. He's like, "What happened to your I, stream?" And it's probably going to be something stupid. Like I started the <laughs> Zoom too soon. Yes. The whole system went to sleep. Um, I have a feeling that's what Bat is going to tell me. Um, so to tell him I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> He's fine. He can foil it. He's like the only person that probably actually just Um, so additional business if you're ready to move That's to that. Fine, yeah. Uh, just a couple announcements. I'll start with the light ones and wait for your quick to get back um before I give you the big one. Um the the light ones are that the community development office is looking to hire a community engagement coordinator and a rec program coordinator as well. Um, so um, if you know of anybody that would be great and hit those descriptions um, and send them to, to Courtney's way um, and for um, the job is posted um, all over um, for the county page and a few other places. Those are full both full time positions. Full time year round. Okay. Yeah. Um, I don't have all the back on them, but I just figured it might be a you know you all may have contacts out there um that might be interesting and you know the projects we work on. <laughs> so um yeah um and as with everything it's in that space very market so Please do that. I'm sure uh, the happier uh, piece of information is that there has been some movement with the crime uh, litigation and situation. Mm -hmm. And uh, the mayor circulated a formal letter to inform internally, which but this is this is public information. Um, that in early 2024, the Court of Appeals confirmed its jurisdiction and established a scheduling order for the submission of parties briefs. Uh, so basically stating that the city had an opportunity, or the, the applicant had an opportunity to appeal, um, and the applicant was using the city's attorney. Um, however, soon after that the jurisdictional determination, the city received updated information from time confirming uh, for the first time in a really long time that they're interested um, in um, in continuing the project um, that intended to um, modify it. And therefore it would fall outside of the initial proposed um, approvals of the previous boards. And so, um, the appeal um, would not be able to move forward. Um, so essentially, the city's attorney had to abandon the appeal. Um, Time is still interested in developing, and it sounds like they're formula formulating a, a slightly revised proposal. So I Great. thought you all actually. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, new community the same. Um, so this oh, is yeah. um uh, essentially yeah. um this is this came about with the oh, GRI um project and funding. So I believe I, I don't have the full dollar amount, but there was about 14.2 million set aside to develop the north half of the Derby Street property parking lot um into a Mixed use development. Oh, where our farmer tractor used to be. That oh, was that was incorporated in the PUD. Okay. Um, we so, can, if everybody else knows what's going on, you can talk. No, I mean this is this is your chance to ask questions. Um, but if anybody from the board wants to jump in and cover it any further, you're welcome to take it away. Otherwise, yeah. So, um, the PUD. Um, so it wasn't a straight site plan 
proposal um, because there was an ex ex uses proposed a public private component um, and shared parking um, and some um, uh, agreements to develop the additional public space and a walkway to access and allow um, access to the river to remain. Um, and so that um, the, the proposal and PUD plans went through full planning board and zoning board reviews um, and council review and received all approvals that they that it needed. Um, however, there was a citizen committee that um, was following along closely and, and acted and decided to uh, basically sue the the city um, and sorry <laughs> um, basically derailed the process based on seeker the an, an oversight and seeker findings. Um, I don't I have not studied the whole case um, myself um, but that that um, challenge led to a series of court hearings and an appeals process um, sure. for years, for I believe two, two and a half years. So it just came to an end. Um, the, the city was looking at potentially appealing one final time with the potential opportunity to win it um, on the applicants we have. Um, but it wasn't necessary. Mm -hmm. So, Carly, my understanding is that there was concern over living habitat would be compromised by improving a surface lot that drains into the river into like a different type of development. That's what? the irony. It doesn't make sense. Is uh, I'll do some googling later. Do some googling. Yeah. Does the does planning staff expect an updated application? Anytime soon? Um, it is possible is that it before the end of the year that they may have a report Pause. formulated proposal. They are aware that the city is going through a zoning code. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah. is the planning staff anticipated an adopted zoning code before the new proposal? That is our hope. <laughs> um, we're, we're behind our, our time frame by a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, the consultants finding that there is a lot of information to condense and compile to get to the final mm -hmm. those documents. We still have to have a few additional conversations as well. Our mm -hmm. review of um, our existing subdivision ordinance, um, they're going to be proposing revisions to that, but we still have to have a full conversation on it. Um, we haven't discussed parking, and there are a few other items. Well, and that. stormwater. Yeah, well, and really, we haven't fully discussed design criteria, which mm -hmm. that would fall under. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I, with um, the day, day, daytime workshops, I just can't make those. Yeah. Unfortunately. Well, and we've covered a lot of material, but it's it's a robust project. Mm -hmm. Will that uh, will that project build still be uh, part of the original Beyond Eye Award? At this point city? in time, yes. Um, this it sounds like the state is interested and is still funding. Okay. Otherwise, it's my understanding that we'll likely lose that money. Yeah. But that is those discussions are way. I agree. And uh, in your coordination, as we, you know, as that potentially gets closer to application, if it does, can we request that we actually have legal staff that is going to sit with us at our regular board meetings and support us? And that would have been helpful. It, it is it is generally something we I mean the board had. I mean the board had you know, a secret attorney who was provide the city had a secret attorney that was providing yeah. review for seeker right. and then uh, mm -hmm. both 
city council actually sat with the board and provided. Uh, yeah, I was going to suggest, I, I mean, in light of your comments and in your two experiences of the previous process, I don't know if there is an ability for us to do sort of an internal briefing before it yeah. anticipated what would happen or not, just to get people up to speed on legal landmines, property history that we might not be aware of, that we might not be able to cover in a half hour. Obviously, I know we have to do it in a transparent way. I don't know what that would look like, but... Um, um, if you are meeting with an attorney, that doesn't necessarily, that wouldn't necessarily have to follow uh, open the Okay. Yeah, it'd be nice not to tell someone ignorant. Yeah, and I think given the history of the litigation, it probably <laughs> would benefit the city taxpayers to not have to go down that road again mm -hmm. and be able to nip that in the blood early. So. Mm -hmm. Any any other new news? Nothing major. Just with um, a lot of our projects are transitioning phases, um, and right now uh, community development is looking to apply for a couple different CFAs. So CFA season, um, and yeah. What what uh what's the timeline for Fox Hill Park? I know that one's getting done. It's happening right now. Yeah. What's, what's it? I I don't have firm timelines. Uh, sorry to say. <laughs> I thought it was. I thought they said it was closed for two weeks. Is that it? That's all. I think so. Yeah, I've got most of the playground equipment already here. And so, our sure. may be an update because she sits in the office. Too. Not on Fox Hill. What about Penfield? Yeah, I was just going to say, to I was say um, Common Council did approve uh, 675000 Don't quote me on that to, to pursue funding for right. the state. They get for, to put for, for the playground equipment. Yes. Yeah. yeah. What's it? What's the name of the application? Uh, it's a consolidated funding. Oh, this, yeah. yeah okay. I couldn't afford so that. would be next time. I think so. Yeah. yeah. I don't know where Fox Hill's at, though. I haven't paid any bills yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think they, they're under the installation, but I don't it's know. It's obvious. Can you help me that yourself? Um, if you want to keep it. No, I don't. I don't. Okay. Um, does the board have any more questions for the staff? Uh, did you want to touch on the response that we're getting for so far the public hearing aspect of all of it? Um, or that we sent, no, that would that will come up in the next meeting. Oh, okay. um, and um, there are some public comments that have been added to the electronic folder, so you might see those um, exhibit TVV. Um, but for sketch plan. Um, of this project, it, it didn't seem um, fair to the um, for yeah, the review to dive into those comments at this point. It does. Yeah, that'd be nice. Time. Okay. Are these emails or is this like so many emails? Email. 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 There are no other items. Do I have a motion to adjourn? No motion. We motion to by, by Tom. <laughs> I did. I did the motion. Yeah. All in favor? Aye. 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 Give me who seconded. <laughs> second. Did you? There you go. And Jim, uh, when we get a draft of release of the motion, I might send it out to have you just review it and make sure that we got all of the notes. That's fine. I definitely know. You were you're mentioning about next 